Gordon Parks is one of the most significant uh, artists of the 20th century. He was an uh, artist of color. Uh, at the time, you could say he went from being colored to Negro to being African American. Uh, but Gordon was born in 1912 uh, into poverty, the uh, youngest of 15 children. And he, uh, over the years, became the first uh, artist, uh, African American, to write for Life magazine and photograph for Life magazine back in. 1948 to 1972, he was sent on assignments to photograph the black Muslims. What you have here, you have um, Malcolm X, back in 1963, 1965. Um, he also photographed Eldridge Cleaver, who was a black panther. And uh, in the photograph is Eldridge Cleaver with his wife Kathleen and um, Huey Newton, who was also the founder of the Black Panthers. So this is a photo photojournalist that's done over six decades. Art gallery, first of all, is dealing in issues of globalization and particularly the issues of intercultural dialogue. Artists who are exploring a culture other than their own. So he's an artist is based in, the, uh, in America, but spent a lot of time in Asia. And that's one of the reasons that he started off painting of great leaders, you know, 20th, people who define the 20th century. Those are people that he's, but they can be both positive and negative. It doesn't have to be um, positive figures alone. So he's criticizing or critiquing those figures and celebrating those figures. Scott Hovey, who's a mixed media sculptor from Oakland, California. And what about the shoes? They're very unique. Do you think I can wear around or is uh... <laughs> uh, This particular pair you cannot, oh. but he does make pairs custom fit to your size that oh, you can yeah. wear. Hicimos un proyecto que se llama Bay Lights. Y son 25.000 LED luces LED que están montadas en el puente, el Bay Bridge. Y yo hago programas en la computadora, secuencias únicas, y es una obra de arte que estamos presentando. Hermoso, ¿y en qué te inspiraste para...? Pues de todo el movimiento cerca del puente, el movimiento de agua, de, de luz, el, el tráfico, de pájaros, lo que sea y me inspira eso, pero el, la obra es, es todo abstracto, no hay imágenes, no hay uh, texto. Uh, the artist's name is Mark Lagrange, and Mark Lagrange lives in Belgium, in Antwerp, in Belgium. I think the controversial about this piece would be why can't a woman be a pope? The title of the piece is called High Spices and I think it gives a lot of power to a woman. And what about the nudity? Like, sure. Yeah. You know, we're born naked and we don't take anything with us. It doesn't really matter to me. You know, so, you know, so I think it's liberating. came from Picasso's personal collection. Oh, this is wow. what is so exciting about it. Wow. Because you know that Picasso was a passionate collector of his own works and he was also a very smart businessman. So at the time of his death, he left uh, six heirs and 
a vast personal collection. So it took eight years of cataloging what was found in the estate. And then um, in the early 80s, some of the works were released. So some of the etchings that you see, uh, you see the one on top there, it's Picasso's alter ego, Minotaur, and Marie Therese Voltaire, his, his mistress and the mother of his second child, Maya Picasso. The San Francisco Museum of Art is the only museum that's actually showing at the art market. We're very excited. We're a nonprofit gallery, and we um, we show only local artists or California artists, uh, and it's the museum's way of promoting uh, the local art scene. Well, this is an artist, a woman named uh, Vadis Turner and she's doing these um, abstract uh, compositions with ribbons and so she's um, basically taking found objects and then creating these abstract expressionistic paintings but three-dimensionally so they're really interesting because she finds there's like all kinds of items inside like bikinis and a bell, a glove and um, you know so it's almost like Jackson Pollock but three-dimensionally de hoy, espero que lo hayan disfrutado tanto como yo y si todavía no lo hicieron, suscríbanse a Cosmoarte TV. Chao, chao.